Hey team, uh, now I'm just going to make a little video to do with joints and movements. Now, in some prior work, you learnt about joints and there are three categories. There's the fibrous joint, um, so between two bones. There's the cartilaginous joint, so there they've got cartilage between them. Oops, I haven't spelled that wrong. I haven't spelled that right, but you get the drift. And then there's the synovial joints. Now, in PE, our focus is on these synovial joints. They're joints that have got synovial fluid in them, they've got a, a joint capsule around it, um, and that's the meeting of two bones with cartilage. So, for level one, you want to know about these two types of joints. Now this, you figure it out, it's a ball and socket joint, it's the hip joint. So this is the, uh, the hip the acetabulum, so that's the socket here, and this is the ball on top of the femur, the biggest bone in the body. So it is a, a ball and socket joint. Now there's another ball and socket joint in the body. It looks a wee bit different from this because the, the socket is not nearly as deep. Um, but the shoulder is also a ball and socket joint. And what you can see here is that it allows all sorts of movement. The, the bone that sits within the socket, it can move back and forth, so that's flexion and extension. It can move around, so that's rotation. Um, and also we have the circumduction, which is sort of moving like an ice cream cone, but effectively it's similar to rotation. Uh, and adduction, abduction. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about some of those movements soon. The other type of joint that you want to know about is called the hinge joint. Uh, and this example here is the knee. So you've got quite a few bones meeting um, to form the joint. You've got the, the biggest bone in the body, the femur, and basically it's moving on top of the tibia and the fibula is there just to add a bit of um, stability to, to the tibia and you've got the kneecap that moves within a groove there but effectively it's these these two bones the femur and tibia that are moving so here it is the movements that it allows are basically back and forth so that's flexion and extension so let's talk about what these movements look like There's my stick figure. So, side on, my little stick figure. Flexion and extension. These are the two basic movements for level one PE that you want to get your heads around. There are lots of other uh, anatomical movements that anatomists talk about, but these are our two basic ones. So, um, extension is when bones move away from each other or are straight. So, in this diagram here you can see that at the elbow it's straight or it's extended. At the hip it's straight through so it's extended. At the knee it's straight through it's extended. So that's extension. Flexion is when uh, is when the bones move towards each other. And what you would see is that the bones effectively are bending. So if this was the elbow, and you've got a glass of water that you want to get up to your mouth, you need to move this so that this bone will stay here but this bone will move up with that glass of water so it can get closer to your mouth so you can drink it. So flexion is that the bones effectively move towards each other, extension is they straighten. Uh, this will happen at 
hinge joints and also ball and socket joints. Now, if that's all you want to know, pause, stop the video. If you want to know a little bit more, I'll just tell you about two other movements, and they are abduction and adduction. Note this little stick figure is being drawn in the anatomical position, so if I put my midline down it, oops, not very good midline, but you get the drop, so it goes down the middle of the body. If I move my limbs towards the midline, it is abduction. So I'm adding, move towards. And if I move my limbs away from the midline, it is abduction or abduction. So that's away from the midline. So your star jump is your classic, um, but have a think about some other sporting movements and I'm sure you'll be able to think of some other examples of abduction and adduction. I hope you find that useful. Thanks.